Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking a look at the indie title Papers, Please, and how best to use it on a Windows 8 touchscreen device, in this case the ASUS Transform Book T100. As you can see, I'm running the game here windowed, uh, but maximised. This is because running the game full screen, the touches appear in the wrong position, so the game can't really be played. You have to revert to reusing a mouse. Uh, and also because running maximised enables you to more easily access the stamp button on the right side of the screen. If you run the game fully windowed, um, then this is very near the edge of the window and it's often hard to trigger the press. Running the game maximised makes it a lot easier. Um, as you can see though, in the main menu it was able to scroll around properly to select save games just by dragging your finger across the screen and here moving objects around on the screen works well um, no issues with that what you do find is at this point in the game I've bought some of the booth upgrades the ones which you activate with say shortcuts for key presses are obviously a little pointless um, because you've got no keys to press so they aren't worth buying um, other ones like the map upgrades are a little fiddly because they have some quite small points for selecting those. Um, circling through the book is a little slow at times as well if you miss the trigger points, but overall works pretty well. Um, the game is certainly playable in this way. Um, you might find you're a little quicker at processing people with the keyboard and mouse and the shortcuts, but for some a way of playing the game on the move, it, it's certainly usable. Um, obviously being a fairly simple game as well, there are no performance issues on the T100, it runs very well on this device. Um, so one that can be recommended. Um, I hope you found this video useful, uh, we have plenty more content on Windows 8 Gaming and the ASUS Transformer Book T100 uh, available on our channel, so take a look.